Good evening, welcome to another edition of Native Voice TV. I'm Sundas Martinez. And I'm Siwa Billy Rose Amador, and together we are Native Voice TV. We are the indigenous people. Yes, we are. Yeah. You know, I've been hearing all kinds of controversy on the television. About? About some radio personality who made some racist comments uh -huh. about African Americans. I'm sure you've heard that too. Oh, yeah, right? yeah. Right, We're not right. going to say who it is because everyone knows. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to give any more publicity. Yeah. But you know what really gets me is everyone is outraged about these comments and no one, those probably same people are at the football games with the tomahawk and redskins and you know? you know there's so many little subtle things that you see on tv about you know just it's just the hypocrisy of it you know one way it's this way and for us for native people it's yeah, no one even like cares or anything like that. No, it's like it's it's oh, it's just being cute. Yeah. We're just having fun. You hear these you know? TV shows where they oh yeah, we caught them red-handed and all this stuff, and and no one says anything. You know, yeah, yeah just the hypocrisy of it is just one-sided. Yeah. yeah, very yeah. very ironic. So yeah. anyhow, that upset me. <laughs> <laughs> but She's upset. Uh -oh. I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, recently we went to a powwow in uh, Sunnyvale. It was Homestead Powwow, and we yeah. ran into a terrific artist who yeah, does fantastic did. work. And I'd like to welcome Johnny Clay. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, I got stopped in my tracks when I saw your artwork. It was just fantastic, and it is beautiful. Thank you. Thank and you. Uh, I'm looking forward to showing our guests. Yeah, thank you. So which tribes are you from? Um, I'm uh, Wailaki and Pomo. Is my blood. Uh, we're from Round Valley Indian Reservation. My mother is born and raised there. Oh, okay. This is California Indian. Yes, right? California okay. up north. Oh, so and I'm sure you have California Indians in your work. And tell us a little bit about your work. Okay, well, uh, I get the majority of my uh, photographs from uh, uh, Edward S. Curtis. He has a collection of photographs that just mm -hmm. captures everything, I think. And I get some uh, pictures also from the Library of Congress. They have a good selection, but I, I like Edward Curtis. He just captures so much in the face and the people. It says everything. So and I'm, when I draw a picture, I like to capture the, just the, the, the glass in the eyes. and the, it's, it's the pictures say everything. Uh-huh. And you draw them with? Uh, just graphite, graphite on um, whatever paper chalk. I might have around the house. No chalk, just, no chalk, just, just pencil. Graphite. Good old number two. <laughs> That's all we have. And what, wow. what's fascinating to me is you haven't been doing this all that long, have no, you? No, not at all. I've been drawing faces for about five years. I was drawing everything and then I was thinking, well, what? I, I was just, I, I liked faces, but they're tough. So five years ago, I started just tinkering with the idea. And then uh, the last three years, I really put it to it that I was, I think I had something. And so I just stayed with it and stayed with it. And, and, uh, it's like a hidden talent. The, you didn't even absolutely, know about, absolutely. Right? I, I wasn't ah. sure where the talent was going. But how'd you come across it? I and mean, just one day, just like I started. said, well, I try. I've drawn trees and trees. It just nothing was really just getting me. And the pictures are. It's just the pictures, I guess. Just doing research, looking yeah. and looking. And so uh, I was inspired by the uh, with the people because my girls uh, wanted to see what kind of Indian we were. And so I was looking on the internet trying to find something. And all I seen on our people was just some farmers in overalls. <laughs> and so uh, there's so many nations. And so I thought, well, I'm going to get a collection of uh, Native Americans. So that way people can see. Someday I'll have a, an extensive collection and they can look up and say, well, this is what kind of Indian that I am. And so that's what I've, I've been yeah. just collecting and making uh, cards. You know what impressed me about your, your, your drawings is they almost look like black and white photos. I mean, they're so detailed and so fine that they, they, they look from like a distance. They look like a, okay, a black and white photo. Okay, the audience has been in suspense. Yeah. Shall we show yeah. them one? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they do look like photographs. Can you tell us a little bit about this one? Um, this is a coastal uh, Pomo Indian. Um, okay. I like the side shot. I like the, what I really liked was the reflection of the shadow on his face. Yeah. and. Uh, I could look at the same picture and just depending over and over again, but it's just the mood and, and uh, it says a lot. And you do this with a number two pencil. Number two. Wow. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know, I've seen different um, portraits or drawings and they're always the same Indians. 
in right. the same tribes. And that's right. what I really found fascinating about your work is that you have such a variety of different tribes represented right. here. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. That's one good thing. And there's so show. many of them. We definitely have to show you know our public you know that we are you know all these different Indians. Absolutely. Yeah. And then we have. He's a Plains Indian. His name is Bear Legs. I got that picture out of the Library of Congress. Uh, some of the pictures, they're, they're either so underexposed and they're just really difficult to see. So I did the best what I could with what I had. So um, I like that one too. That, that just says so much. Yeah. That is nice. You know, just the detail on that, his earrings and everything. Thank you, thank you. Wow. And his hair. What he has. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, just from here, I'm, I'm uh, sitting at a distance, and I see it at an angle, and it's just beautiful. Yeah. Have you drawn any of the um, elders um, that are still alive? Um, I try to. Um, I have been approached by uh, different elders at the powwows, and they said, well, uh, consignment work if I would like to draw uh, their family or what I would charge, because mm -hmm. I can also collage the picture. You can give me a picture of your great-great-grandfather, and I can put you right in that picture with the same oh, setting. Wow. So um, uh, I, I have been approached, and so it's just a matter of time before I do. Oh, that's wonderful, because I think so many people would like to, you know, they, they might have one photo or one little wrinkled photo, and they'd yeah. like to preserve. Oh, yeah. Yes, and that's preserve what I can picture do. picture for their family. How about this one? This one is a, this is a Pomo from my band. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a... Brown Valley. This is what our regalia is. Um, he's an inland, mm -hmm. as opposed to the coastal Indian. So, coastal. but and that one is also is an Edward S. Curtis photo. Um, How about the headdress? What is that called? That's a uh, that's a flicker. Flicker. Yeah, with the woodpecker and the uh, tulies. Oh, so wow, that's beautiful. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. Let's try, let's and I think you were telling us earlier that uh, you're entering your some of your artwork in a uh, yes. Contest, um, back east. I entered this next picture that oh, you have okay. right here. It just so happens. Just so happens. Just so to happens. Be here. It's a 70th uh, uh, art year art contest uh, anniversary contest, and I entered it. My sister said, "Well, you should enter it." So we did. And I submitted this picture. I don't know how it's, I'll know at the end of the month how, how well it's done, but uh, I think, I, I, myself, I, that's a biased opinion, I guess, but I, wow. I think it's going to do well. It's the only Indian in the whole, and I bet you there's, oh, yeah. there's at least five or 600 entrants. Wow. So. It's a beautiful picture. Thank you, thank you. And the TV, you know, the TV doesn't do it justice at all, you know, to, to, to compare the two from, you know, this is just so it's beautiful. It's amazing, they yeah. look like photographs. Yeah. Thank you. The pencil, my goodness. Number and how long, does it, yeah, how long does it take you to uh, Well, to uh, isn't that one of my secrets I'm not supposed to say? It uh, takes you weeks, right? Uh, <laughs> Months, yeah, years? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would take Typically you, than the, on the average. On the average, um, uh, five hours. Five hours, wow. Five hours. It's a lot of time. Yeah. So much detail. Amazing. And it all has to do with the picture. If I'm going to draw a picture, if I can't see the clarity in the eye, I, I won't. I won't try it because that's the, where I start with my picture is the eyes. Mm -hmm. So if I can capture the eyes, and if the eyes don't turn out, then I won't finish the rest of the picture. Now, how did you get trained to do? This? It just came to you. You, just, you didn't it's go a to gift. You didn't go to call like how else class? do you explain it? I have never, never. It just came to wow. Yeah, it's it, it's, it, it, it's all a gift. You found you found your calling, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. And where do you display these, or where do you sell them? Um, I you? go to the powwows. Um, and I, I'm a vendor at the powwows. I try to stay in a little circuit there. Mm -hmm. um, I also have a web page I sell. I'm just getting going, so we'll try to sell some over the internet um, and wherever I can uh, get. So Somebody can, gives me an opportunity to go, I will go. So someone can log on and contact you through your website? Absolutely. And they can see your work on the website? Absolutely, or they can contact me and I'll, I'll, I'll write them back. They can commission something too, to ask you to do some special thing. Absolutely, for, yeah. absolutely. Wow. And people, I love to draw people, but I do have pictures of animals and, and there's things that I, other things I can draw also, mm -hmm. so I'm not limited. Wow. wow. 
what and, was, no, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was going to ask for the next one because they're no. so beautiful. I was going to say, <laughs> um, you didn't draw like in grade school? Or I think <laughs> I colored. We're I trying, to, to, get, we're trying <laughs> to get down to it. So maybe <laughs> I have the snack now. <laughs> well, I think I, I was an exceptional, but I, I am also colorblind. Oh. So oh. I think I stayed with the, I was having difficulty with the colors. Now, you oh. have to go to school, I think, to start blending. And, yeah. and uh, I started, I just stayed with the pencil. I knew the pencil and what color it was. And sometimes you can even work the pencil on the drawing and you can actually tell what color their eyes are. Even with the shadows, you can kind Absolutely. of make it enhance a certain color. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow, I've yeah. seen we art see majors that, that don't, <laughs> aren't this good. This is oh, wonderful. Yeah. People go to college and take art They, they tell me that you have, they were te a lady was telling me in the gallery, she said, you have this, uh, she had some terminology that I have no clue what she was talking about my fading in to out and she was just capturing she explaining my picture and i go um yeah, yeah I, I don't know what that is <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah that's exactly the she look learned, i was going she for she learned that out of a book right yeah, yeah she learned out of a book yeah, but you yeah. know what this you can't learn out of a book no yeah because yeah. this is this and is i talent. so enjoy it i this love what talent. i do yeah so uh, which powwows are coming up that you'll have your work at uh san juan batista is coming up oh so i'll okay. be there um table mountain I will be there also. Um, Chick Chansey, mm. I'll be there. So Some of the big ones, huh? Yeah. And I'm going to try, I think, a few uh, wine and cheese festival. Oh, yeah. And give that a whirl. Oh, Never that's know. interesting. Whatever it is, So we'll have I'll to go. look for you out there. Absolutely. And how many tribes have you uh, Featured. drawn? Um, I have uh, a little over 200 different nations recognized. Wow. Wow, that's wow. quite a bit. And any bit. size. Any size. Yeah. Uh, what's the largest you've made? Um, well, uh, probably the, I don't know what the poster size would be, poster board, so double that and that's... Wow, uh, so. that's pretty large. Yeah, challenging. <laughs> yeah. It's like a mural. Almost. Have you tried murals? <laughs> yeah, yes yeah. I have. Yes, and how do those work out for you? Um, uh, I like them. I, it's, it's real easy to go to murals, you know, mm -hmm. but I like this. This yeah. is tough and it's, this is what I'm focused. It's like after you're drawing the faces and staying with that, then to switch and start drawing something else, it just kind of pitches you a little bit. But yeah, I can do murals. So, okay. so if someone needs a, a nice um, mural in, at their school or whatever, they could, they could commission you to come out and, and do something like that. I'm peeking over here. Yeah. <laughs> That's Curly Bear. Again, he's another picture from the Library of Congress. Um, you can tell usually from the, the photographs they're completely different, like the uh, California Indians, the Edward Curtis, he yeah. does them in a sepia color a lot of his, so mm -hmm. it gets a totally different uh, look. And uh, this, this man, I was, I was drawing and I started doing his headdress and then I, I, liked, I just left it, I didn't complete it, I just kind of faded. There's a term for that, but I don't know, I just yeah. stopped. <laughs> she said, you have that fade thing. No, I just stopped it drawing it. <laughs> Your technique is phenomenal. I said, well, yeah, I stopped. But if it'll get me $3,000 yeah, or whatever, I, then yeah. I think I just didn't want to draw on that anymore. I felt it was finished. Yeah. And so. Uh, wow, that is beautiful. Thank you, thank you. The detail is amazing. Yeah, I like the fading. The fade, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do research on the Shut terminology, I'll, I'll, that way I can... The fade. Yeah. That's that beautiful. is nice. Thank you. And, and we all know who this uh, Yep. And then we have Chief is. Joseph. Um, this one was, gosh, I don't even... Bet you that one's popular. That is probably, probably one of the most popular. I have a lot of uh, Chief Joseph because he has a lot of photographs taken. Mm -hmm. He's always an, under the camera. And he was so, a camera bug. <laughs> yeah, and so... Uh, and, he's and he's the, a handsome guy, that's why. That's what they say. Yeah. And, the, and he has so many different looks to him. I mean, he yeah. could... I have probably a dozen different pictures of him, and they all look different. What, what strikes him different from all the other um, indigenous uh, brothers and sisters is his hair. He has yeah. a distinctive the big look at his whoop. hair. Yeah, the big <laughs> whoop there. His hair. yeah so they, I think that's what draws in a lot of people because yeah, it's absolutely. different. Yeah. And some of them even go higher up. Yeah. The style he invented. I would like to say that. Somebody did. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> it's beautiful. Thank you. 
Yeah, look at his eyes. I mean, they almost like look right through you, his eyes. So what are your goals as far as your artwork? Well, I, I, uh, I started out with my goal was to, I wanted to do, uh, I want to get my art into galleries is, is something that I would like to do, but museum, mm -hmm. because I draw American history. This is American history, is. and so uh, people can see it in a different, uh, in my point of view, I guess. Have you tried the American uh, Indian Museum over in Washington, D.C.? Um, I, I, somebody, they sent me a letter uh -huh. and uh, with the information on uh, other museums. And so I fill out an application. So we're going to see what happens with there. But the uh, museum in Sacramento will be, oh, yeah. I will be viewing my art there. When is that? Um, I'm talking with the, uh, the ranger there now. He, he came to the same powwow. No, he came to the San Francisco powwow. Mm -hmm and he gave me his card and then so I've been talking with them he said there's a waiting list uh, but they want me to have my art in there but they also have a gift shop and if I had enough merchandise inventory mm. to supply them with it I said yes well, yes I do how about yeah. any, how about any of the local um, galleries around here um, I have some art in a in a gallery up north or it's a storefront I guess mm. it's visions and that's in uh, up by Reading oh. Uh, a brother there that mm -hmm. he does the thing and uh, the money that proceeds that he makes from that he donates back into the, the community the natives so um, and I just met him so things are just really just taking ah, off so my yeah. goal was to go museum because mm -hmm. I'm not I don't do fantasy I do yeah. real people and my goal is it, I hit it so fast so now I I was just talking last night with my mother and I said I better quickly start working on another goal because I've, I've achieved it so yeah. fast so uh, but museums is where I want to go, and, and uh, Southwest Magazine, oh, maybe. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Never know. Maybe you could so create Native something. Native peoples, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Native peoples. I will definitely stay in contact with them, and uh, I'll, they'll put me somewhere in there. Should be on the cover. <laughs> maybe you could create your own magazine or something like that. Or, or well, you know, I have a, something like I that. I sit and I draw, and there's a lot of things that go through my mind, you can imagine. Yeah. And so, um, just, so I surround myself with my art and photographs and magazines and so I'm constantly looking at avenues that I can do and yeah. and so uh, it's there's a lot out there our books absolutely a, an illustrating great, artist yes. and so it's just uh, knowing people so I know that going to these powwows I have met some really great people and uh, with some good advice some really good oh, advice and, it uh, seems like the kids really need something like this so to educate them properly. Absolutely, of, uh, yeah. <laughs> American well, history. Absolutely. Also, just to have a, a, a idol, fig a figure that they could look up to, you know, someone that mm -hmm. they could you know, admire. Wow. You know. Abs absolutely, yeah. especially if it's one of your people. Yeah, that's and right. you don't, you have a picture, and so I'm trying to make that accessible. And my cards that I make, I make postcards, so they are accessible. And yeah. for all people, so they can pick mm -hmm. up a little postcard, and there's, you can frame them also. They're nice mm -hmm. cards, and uh, um, and you have it in your house. Yeah, wow. Wow. everybody should buy one. I agree. <laughs> I agree. They, they How about are your last, this last one? Remarkable. Here. She is a uh, Modoc. She's that's Klamath Henry's wife. Oh. Um, that picture is 1924, I believe. Uh, that's a Edward S. Curtis also. Wow. Um, Beautiful picture, also yeah. says so much, you know. Um, Where are the Modocs from? Modocs are up up north. Up north. Yeah, Klamath Falls, okay. Shasta County, I believe, um, up in that area. So. What is your most requested picture? Um, Paiute. Paiute. I get a lot of Paiute people asking for a Wavoka, and I have some pictures, but it mm -hmm. always seems to be, I didn't. I don't have an, all my pictures on cards yet, or mm -hmm. so it's building each powwow. I try to jump up about 20 different pictures. So as time goes on, I will, I'll fill it up. So, uh, um, wow. this piece has been staring at me actually almost. Where's that one? He's from? a Klamath also. He's a Klamath. He's a Klamath man also. Yeah, I mean they're so lifelike. You know it's. It's like he's looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> he is looking at me. It's like, stop looking at me. my brother says. He said he walks through the house and he says, I feel like everybody's watching me. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, they actually, they are. All your ancestors are they looking are. at you. Yeah. In my, in, surrounded by what I love, you know. Yeah. Wow. How about, um, oh, that's all we have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that is beautiful. Work. Thank you. Thank you.
Is that the sepia that you mentioned? That is that is a sepia. That's sepia, because I don't know too much about yes. art. I, was, I just barely learned that color. <laughs> that <laughs> brownish red. A lot of the prints come out a lot because they. Now were, how did you do that? That's just uh, the can't be pencil. Can't be number two pencil. I, right? No, that <laughs> one's not. That one's just I copied it on a oh photocopy. Oh, and then you turn it to sepia after. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And I do all my own framing and matting, so oh, cool. I just barely learned that hobby. So. Now, have you ever thought wow. about uh, teaching? Like I would like to. I would like to maybe do some workshop, you know, workshops. donate some time. I donate some art for some fundraisers. Uh -huh. um, there's uh, some people in, in my hometown that uh -huh. I said I would donate whatever they needed. They run a group home, and they just bought some homes. Yeah. So I said if I could offer and help them with whatever. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to make their signs for their, their homes. So, oh, nice. uh, so whatever I can help, yeah, I try to nice. do help charitable causes. Oh, yeah. You know, it would be really nice if um, <laughs> organizations was, would, con or different tribes, even different nations, would con commission you to do a book of their elders. You know, that would be wow, oh, yeah. a collector's item to have. I think so. Here's, here, I have another good idea too. Is a lot of <laughs> <Come with our laughs> ideas. We're gonna have all these ideas for you. Um, a lot of big companies they um, do the Native American Month. Right. Right. And what you could do is go to these companies and say, "Okay, you're going to do the Native American Month. I could bring all my artwork. We could put it in your in your in your front lobbies or down your halls and your executive halls, and I could celebrate the Native American Month with you and teach you what's going on. You know. Sure. And you know maybe that's, get some that's that way. That's something I would certainly like. Yeah, I would look into. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of big companies that that really get into the whole Native American yeah. um, you know celebration of the month. You know, I'm November. just barely. I'm barely learning all this. Like I yeah. said, I've just been, before I used to have my art in just in an envelope and mm -hmm. I and I didn't know and so I went to a gallery and I asked the lady what it would take for me to get my art in the gallery and she said, well, um, she was explaining all that, what I need to do and she said, do you have a portfolio? I said, well, I have some drawings in an envelope in a plastic bag, in the, <laughs> excuse me, a plastic bag in the car. Would you like to see? And they said, well, sure. Well, I bring them in and it's like I could just see that lady's hair just blow back and she says, oh my gosh. She goes, this is incredible. And they were just going through them and going through them. Wow. One pulled out her checkbook, was ready to start writing me a check for the other lady saying, oh no, you know, you have a mint here because I have so many of them in. Wow different mediums. Like, uh, look at this portfolio. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have some powwows coming up. Let's see what's coming up and right. probably see Johnny there with I his artwork. <laughs> sure so. You'll probably be at the Stanford. Are you going to be at Stanford? Stanford, Stanford Powell. Powell, May 11th, 12th, 13th. Stanford, Stanford University. University. That's always the biggie around oh, here. Oh yeah. We're going to be there, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we're supposed to sell t-shirts for this powwow, yeah. Red Road Powwow. Red Road Powwow DQ University. That's going to be May 18th, 19th, and 20th. And that's co-sponsored by CTC, so I expect everyone to be there. That's a beautiful setting out at DQ. Okay. Next to the Native Town Program, 490 North First Street, San Jose. Actually, on our, on our next show, we'll be hearing more about the Native Town oh, Program. Oh yeah, so stay tuned for our, stay tuned next week for our, our some TANF information. Work to future. If you're looking for a job, if you want to upgrade. If you want to upgrade your resume or come to some workshops regarding your um, future employment, come to Center for Training and Careers. There's a Work to Future one stop located there. All right. Tune in, Indian Time Radio, KKUP 91.5, every Tuesday from 8 to 10 p.m., featuring Jack Hyatt and David Romero. And remember Leonard Peltier, when you go to the Powells, a lot of times you'll see a table there with information on Leonard. Please stop by, sign a petition, give some money, or do whatever you can to help out Leonard. Definitely. Long, long struggle. Oh yeah, it's been like a long 31 time. 31 years, yeah, 31 years. So I know, like, uh, you know the uh, committee goes out to most of the Powells in the area. You've probably seen them out at the different Powells. And yeah. It's a long time. And yeah, yeah, I think he's up for parole again. Um, and we just keep hoping and praying each time yeah. that. Uh, totally unjust, unjustified, you know, just illegal the way they did things, you know, extraditing him from Canada illegally, um, just coercing and of, there's of, a, you of know, all the information. Exactly. It's totally illegal. And there's a small group of people that go out to the powwows, and it's hard, you know, because they oh, yeah. have to spend all day out there 
giving out information. Sometimes, you know, they sell T-shirts and hats yeah. and so forth to raise funds, and everything goes back to the defense fund. Oh, yeah. We did that defense thing, uh, helping out the Leonard Peltier South Bay group for, ooh, what, two years, three years? Yeah, so mm -hmm. we were pretty involved with it for a while. Yeah, they do some very impressive yeah. work. We need to get him out. Keep trying so everybody yeah. support the cause. Really Send appreciate some prayers it. his way. Yes. And Johnny, you, you uh, currently live in Merced. Yes, yes. And <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you've come a long way to yeah. join us, so we yes, really I appreciate have. that. Yes, I have. And we'll yeah. go a long way to see you at the powwows and see oh, more yeah. of your work. Glad and to be here. Glad to be here. You'll be at Stanford, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So definitely, if you're interested in any of this work here, yeah, go especially to if you want your family, if oh, you want yeah. to preserve uh, your ancestors, you know. Yeah. Or you could get your, your your ancestors and your grandma and your great grandmas all together, and then you and your family and right go together. My pictures. Get you right in, just like you yeah. were there. But you put you in the yeah. middle like this, right? However you want. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then yeah. they'll think I'm a lot older than. <laughs> I don't want to be around that long. No, no but seriously, these, these are excellent. These, Beautiful work. Uh, you need to come out here and look at, go out to the Stanford Powell and look at them live because um, they're just so beautiful. I mean, the detail and everything is just perfect. And if your tribe isn't represented, you can ask Johnny to draw some. That's uh, right. Let me know and I will, uh, by, guaranteed by the next powwow that I'll be at, I'll have your picture of your people there. Wow. Not just one, maybe a couple, depending on the research that I can get. But I will do that. That's great. Well, That's thank you for joining us. And join us again next Sunday at 630. Oh, yeah. We will have a few guests from the Native TANF office who will be telling you about the different services they provide here in San Jose and some of the other local cities around the Bay Area where maybe you have friends that reside. So we'll see you next week. Stay tuned for next week. Good night. Good night. <laughs>